I welcome all of you on platform of your PD education and uh, as you know we are providing you the updates related to various career opportunities related to higher education. Uh, so this one is related to ISC Bangalore. Uh, it is not through gate, it is not the option through gate, it is the separate test. They will conduct no interview, only written test, aptitude test what they call it and the post are technical assistant and I think 22,000 rupees will be given to you. Why and who should apply for this? Seats are there, I mean 100 plus seats are there. So probability of selection is very high uh, because I think not many people, uh, students will write this. Those who could not make very good in gate, for them also this is one of the good options. So IIC is a very branded and reputed institute as you know. So those of you who are planning to go for higher education further, let's say abroad or something like that and want to have some kind of research exposure because as you know direct admission in PhD abroad you can get uh, through uh, you know uh, if you have good research work and BTEC CGP is good you can directly get into PhD with very good scholarship abroad. So those of you who have made up their mind to go abroad and get very good scholarship especially BTEC to direct PhD should go for such kind of options. So for couple of months when you are in IIC Bangalore you, you can upskill yourself, you can enhance your skill and also then you can apply there. Second category of the students, those who want to land up in very good companies, jobs nowadays because job market is booming nowadays, data science, artificial intelligence, IoT and all these things you know, latest skill based jobs and even core mein, uh, whatever uh, core jobs are there. So offline, uh, off campus placement is a very big domain like if you apply in some company you can get call. So whenever you apply in some company on what basis company calls you is one of the criteria is uh, branding of institute also. If you say you are technical assistant in ISC Bangalore and you are doing marvelous work in computational fluid dynamics then you can have very good interview in really good MNCs like you know think of general electrical kind of companies there if you apply and then you tell your credibility background of uh, this it can be very good. It is like JRF you do in you know uh, some kind of uh, research organizations like DRDO, uh, BARC, ISRO research organizations. So it is similar to that. So uh, let me now tell this particular post. You can uh, get uh, this, uh, you can go this uh, technical assistant position in ISC Bangalore. So number of positions are 100. So 42 for general category OBC 25 something like that and qualification is BTEC, BE, BSc uh, students can also join, BCA can also join 55%. And uh, you know 28th Feb is the last date and uh, uh, the criteria for this is you know uh, you will get 21,700 rupees plus allowances whatever you get and selection is purely on the basis of job oriented aptitude test. So there is a job oriented aptitude test which has you know, comp this computer based test and um, the examination scheme and syllabus is mentioned in Annex 1. So you visit the website of ISC Bangalore and you will get the information about that. So uh, the details also you can go there, this is a 500 rupees fees and as I told you next uh, couple of months, let's say now uh, from Feb to uh, you see uh, till July, August, this is going to be hectic season forward where we can explore options, what options we can get and it is a very very crucial decision. So you should have couple of options on your table. Let's say uh, you are getting IITs, NITs, self-sponsored, BITs, uh, IIC, couple of options you should have on table and then you should decide that which option do you want and that should be on the basis of what you want after this. I mean where you are interested. You want to go abroad, you want to get into MN, uh, MNC and very good salary package, you want to prepare for public sector, you want to go into civil services, I mean what, what you want. So depending upon your requirement you should pursue the uh, career forward and I also want to tell you one thing nowadays gap in your career is sub something which is not supposed to be good they normally uh, ask you and there is no need also to create a gap in your career there are so many options and I am going to soon uh, you know publish lot of videos uh, upload lot of videos on this very channel where I will I am discussing with so many students and they are telling that job market is booming so next couple of years are best to get into the jobs. I mean 
uh, average college uh, you know students are getting 25 lpa so that is the best time to enter there is always a best time to enter into job market and this is that time now for the past couple of years because of lockdown and recession just before lockdown there was a recession going on so 18 19 it was a recessionary phase and then 20 21 was covid lockdown and now companies have started crazy recruitment so this is the best time so you should chart out a strategy which actually makes you fit in that particular uh, slot Uh, so suppose you do this and then you learn and then you apply in some company and company gives you good salary so this is how you have to check out your career team your pda is ready to help you out in that you can discuss with us what career options you have to explore but yes you have to take the step steps you have to take to use your uh, you know interest and uh, all the uh, criteria whatever criteria you have kept for you what kind of options do you want and start exploring so keep now uh, sticking to uh, what your pda is going to uh, update you related to your post gate and all this next couple of months next 3 4 months are going to be very crucial so many options will come and just keep on exploring the options and take the right decision thank you